This is my 1972 GMC Sierra Grande, three-quarter ton, four-wheel drive. Uh, picked up roughly about ten years ago from the original owner. And uh, when I saw it, uh, the, uh, it has a second paint job by the original owner. The paint in the bed is still original. Uh, he just uh, bought it to haul a camper, he and his wife. And so it sat in the barn most of the time. Uh, so when I saw it, I definitely had to have it because it was the paint was good enough quality for a driver, which I wanted. I mean, it was nothing I was going to show. Just uh, good enough to be very presentable and enjoy. Since I've had quite a few of these trucks. And uh, that way I didn't have to worry about it being, you know, scratched. Still took care of it, you know, but uh, didn't have to worry about it being in the parking lot or something. But uh, the wheels are uh, something I just I added a couple of years ago. Those are 15, 16 by 7s. And uh, the new tires on them, of course, it was just a stock look I was after, instead of some aftermarket wheels. Um, the, uh, let's see, what else? Fairly a rust-free truck, which is the other thing I always look at, because these trucks are notorious for being fairly rusted away, and there's another thing I didn't have to deal with. Good enough for me. I did go through all the mechanicals on the chassis, so all of the, uh, the U joints and the uh, stub axles and the front end are new. The front drive shaft is new. Um, the rear wheel bearings uh, are replaced with all the seals. All the fluids are just changed again. Uh, all the brakes, everything's been replaced. Um, the motor is a 454 that's uh, 100 over and basically built to create stock at a low or uh, uh, torque at a low RPM for uh, the occasional pulling that I would do. Which should just be a nothing very heavy but uh, and I was going for a mileage too at the same time so I ended up uh, with a you know, putting the NV 4500 five speed behind it um, last one of the last things I did too was put the MSD uh, atomic EFI on it to uh, again just improve mileage and drivability and the fact that it does sit in my garage uh, quite a bit for long periods of time so it made it a lot easier to, to start up from sitting so long. Um, it does have, uh, have the Spicer Big Hub uh, locking hubs on it which is a nice feature obviously. And uh, again, very very minimal to just surface rust. I mean, there really isn't a very solid truck. I did put a, uh, uh, it has roughly a two inch lift, so I took a stock set of front leaves and, and used one of the leaves out of there, added to the front. And the rear, I got a, a two inch add a leaf to give it the slight lift it's got, which makes it look uh, proportionate. Drive shaft in the rear is new. Uh, so mechanically, very sound, solid truck. Did replace the ball joints in the front axle also, so again, don't have to uh, really replace anything there. Um, the interior, uh, the only thing I've done with the interior 
uh, is replace the carpet and put factory bucket seats in it. Other than that, the dash pad, uh, headliner, door panels uh, are all original as it was when I got it. Very well taken care of for its age. Uh, the bus driver's side shows a little bit of wear just because I'm the only one that slides in and out of it. The passenger side is still perfect. Um, does have an AM FM radio, factory pickup style, the AC truck, um, factory tachometer, Pretty much everything as it is was it came. This was originally an automatic truck. I obviously changed it to a manual, so I put all the factory GM pieces in it. And uh, try to pull the carpet back. Mm -hmm. pull the carpet back. Look at the common areas in here. always get pretty nice to see a fairly solid floor in these two did replace the rear bumper the front bumper is original Really good shape. This side here. Very solid in there yet. Just a little surface rust, basically. Original little box, original owner's manual, still in there. Um, got the jack, the jack handles in there. Uh, they're solid doors. It's hard to find them when they're like this. That's why I'm really pretty excited about it. Saw this. So. Both of the saddle tanks are I took those out mainly because they, uh, you know, are no good by this time and gas prices are way too high to transport that much gas. So <laughs> no point in keeping them. Yeah, and a good old truck.